today we've got our Carnival Windrush to celebrate the immense contribution that those of the Windrush generation have made to British society. Remembrance is for everybody and actually everybody remembers and reflects in their own way. So it's really exciting to have spoken word, to have choirs, to be able to have dance, carnival, procession and really experience Caribbean culture um, and unpack stories through that. Well, I think in a space that's known for remembrance, I wanted the elders to feel that they were special. I wanted them to feel that they were celebrated and honoured. So we just wanted everybody who came to have something that they could latch on to or feel that they could connect with. We want to make sure that our programme is inclusive, is accessible. For the last eight weeks, we've been working with 500 young people from schools across the local region. They've been understanding stories of Windrush through song, We've been working with our associate partners, Black Voices, to deliver these workshops. And it's really important that we pass on the baton of remembrance through different means. We made a pledge a few years ago for the Arboretum to be freely open to all. We're hoping visitors will come along and enjoy their day here, where it's a very special place, explore the 150 acres, uh, discover some of the, the amazing things we have here on site. I'm really looking forward to all of our new visitors bringing their energy to our stage here for Carnival Windrush. We wanted to get lots of different choirs who would um, celebrate, but in a different way. So you'd get different flavours of celebration. And I think we did that quite well today. Music is really a key part of remembering. It's just a joy to see so many of the pioneers that have made um, the effort to come today to be celebrated in this way. My late parents would have probably been here and to be celebrating what their legacy is um, in me hosting, I feel it a great honour. Island Twist are catering um, for the festival today. I started to learn how to cook Caribbean food 12 years ago when I had my son. He's got a Caribbean background and his family were really eager to teach me how to cook Caribbean food. So rice and peas, curried mutton, jerk chicken, ackee and callaloo for vegans, saltfish fritters. It's filling me with pride really just to be here and be a part of it all. Brainstorm, I believe you help me sing the windrush generation came and contributed in a way that i think has we only now begin to realize the depth and the breadth of that contribution my father was had been an agricultural development officer in the caribbean came here and got a job as a bus conductor so without that generation I wouldn't be here. My grandma came here and she helped to build this community, you know, in England. She was a nurse and the struggle was real. I, I'm a nurse myself. I take my hat off to her, literally. So it's amazing to be a part of this. You know, it means a lot to me. It's been quite an exhilarating and exciting experience and opportunity that we've had. We've never done anything like this, so it was different, a new experience bringing like such a good vibe to like a completely different space than we've ever done. Yeah. It's just a, a day to come and uh, enjoy the uh, the music and festivities here. And I'd such a lovely setting as well. All different people, old pensioners to young babies. It's been fabulous. Everybody getting on. I think the elders really felt that they were celebrated today and that they, you know, we really appreciate what they've done. We stand on the ground created by that generation. My grandma showed me how to be strong-minded, how to have courage, how to be brave. She paved the way. It's just been a win-win day for everybody. <laughs> <laughs>